uh, quite a few things need to change uh, to allow the U.S. to once again start building nuclear reactors. Um, without getting into too many of the specifics of uh, licensing requirements and that sort of thing, largely because it's a bit of the outside of my uh, expertise, one thing I do know a little bit more about is the um, economics of the situation and essentially the public buy-in. Um, it's pretty expensive to build a full-scale uh, nuclear reactor and, and you have to be concerned about when the um, when a utility is going to start making money on that again uh, after constructing it. Now then that sparks the comments about government subsidies and some folks don't think that's a good idea uh, et cetera, et cetera. We can go back and forth on that. But the bottom line is economics is going to um, uh, play a large part in whether or not we start building uh, nuclear reactors in this country. So one way to address that is to make them smaller and cheaper. Uh, these are things like uh, small modular reactors that are getting quite a bit of attention right now. Uh, decrease those overnight costs and start turning a profit sooner rather than later can make us more attractive. That said, we have um, of course a significant public um, uh, buy-in that we'll need just from a safety point of view beyond the economics um, convince folks that uh, things are indeed safe and uh, not not a threat that they uh, once have been perceived. A challenge made even kind of more daunting, rightly or wrongly at the moment, considering the events unfolding in Japan.